the world of YouTube, a vast and ever-growing platform where 20 days worth of content is uploaded every minute. However, amidst the friendly and innocent content, there are some areas of YouTube that delve into the darker side of things. Today we'll be exploring some of those areas in the darkest YouTube iceberg. Hello, little savages, this is me, Savage Titty Max, and uh, I've been eagerly preparing for this video for so long now at this point. For those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, iceberg type videos, basically the content starts normal and then the deeper you go into the iceberg, the content gets darker and darker and darker. So um, obviously continue with caution and uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the darkest YouTube iceberg. Level one, the skies. YouTube shorts. Believe it or not, half of the dark side of YouTube is comprised of YouTube shorts, with upwards of 10,000 shorts uploaded every day. These bite-sized videos can range from mundane to downright disturbing. In fact, I have an entire video dedicated to this type of content, which I'll link below if you're interested in delving deeper. Videos pretending to be scary. Beyond YouTube shorts, there are also videos that attempt to be creepy. The types of videos that show up after just searching the word scary. A few examples of such channels include Chills, Nukes Top 5, Life of Luxury, and many more. Moving on to level 2, the tip of the iceberg. Dining room, or there is nothing. One such video is Dining Room, or There Is Nothing, which features a girl seated at a table as flames engulf the house around her. A woman mumbles some incoherent dialogue before falling face first into the bowl on her table. Interestingly, when played in reverse, her garbled dialogue becomes coherent and audibly says, Dining Room, or There Is Nothing, hence the title of the video. I Feel Fantastic Another video that falls into this category is I Feel Fantastic two and a half minute clip of a robotic doll singing to the camera while at the latter end of the video, a grassy landscape flashes on the scene a few times. This video has spawned numerous theories, yet none have been proven true, and the video has since become somewhat of a legend to this day. Mariana Mortegard Glesgorf Mariana Mortegard Glesgorf is a 30 second clip featuring a man staring directly into the camera while a loud and irritating bell sound effect plays in the background. This video is rumored to be so terrifying that it could cause the viewers to gouge their eyes out. This claim was later proven to be false, and as a result, the video quickly faded into obscurity. Mr. Nosy Bonk Mr. Nosy Bonk was a creepy character who appeared in the British children's show, Jigsaw. He was a mute character who was always up to mischief, and was known for his giant, bulbous nose that protruded from his ever-grinning, nightmarish face. This character was particularly unsettling for young viewers, and quickly became a fan favorite due to his eerie demeanor. Despite his silence, Mr. Nosy Bonk was able to communicate through his body language and exaggerated movements, often solving puzzles and carrying out various antics that kept children on the edge of their seats. Today, he remains a haunting figure in the memories of those who grew up watching Jigsaw, and serves as a reminder of the show's ability to evoke fear and mystery in its young audiences. Username 666. Username 666 is a mysterious and disturbing video that has sparked numerous theories and urban legends since its upload in 2010. The video appears to be a distorted and glitchy recording of a person using YouTube and refreshing a page until it becomes demonic. The man tries to shut off his computer, however, is unsuccessful and the video comes to an end. Hand Thing Hand Thing is a video uploaded on July 13th, 2007, featuring Shay St. John a supermodel on Starlet known for her strange and eerie videos. In the video, the character asks Shay if she's still doing that hand thing. You see her rigid mannequin arms tapping on top of one another. Shay St. John videos are often categorized as outsider art, and they've become part of the so-called weird part of YouTube. Shay St. John's videos have never been part of a big artist reveal or studio-backed film adaptation. Instead, she simply posted her videos on YouTube until she stopped one day. Her website, which looks like it was plucked from 2001, declares her as an entertainer, model, singer, magician, actor, and the world record holder for having the most problems. Despite her video's strange and unsettling nature, they have become a cult sensation on the internet and continue to be watched and discussed to this day. Man Lost in Paris Catacombs The mystery of what happened to the man and the found footage from the catacombs of Paris remains unsolved. The footage, shot in the early 90s, shows the man exploring the underground tunnels before running off in a state of panic and dropping the camera. 
It was later acquired by documentarian Francis Friedland, who presented it on the ABC Family show Scariest Places on Earth in 2000. While some skeptics believe the footage was a hoax, nobody has stepped forward to claim responsibility for it or to provide any further information about the man in the video. Friedland confirms that the man is still missing to this day. The mystery surrounding the footage and the fate of the man only add to the eerie and unsettling reputation of the catacombs of Paris. Daisy Brown Daisy Brown is a series that centers around Daisy Brown, an innocent and young girl left alone by her grieving father, a DNA scientist named Curtis, after the loss of his wife. Daisy is forced to take care of a monster named Alan, who becomes increasingly abusive and aggressive as the story continues. What makes Daisy Brown so unique is its clever use of an alternate reality game, incorporating puzzles and hidden messages within the videos, drawing viewers further into the unnerving world of Daisy and Alan. This web series serves as a prime example of the horror genre's ability to create an atmosphere of unease and terror. The Peanut Vendor The Peanut Vendor is an early animated short film that exudes an eerie, old-timey feel. Made by the experimental filmmaker Len Lai, it was only his second known film. The animation was created to accompany the popular song El Manicero by Don Apazu. However, the film takes on a sinister undertone as the vendor is portrayed as a fun-loving monkey with a presumed crush on the lady he's selling peanuts to. The film's vintage aesthetic adds to the creepy atmosphere, giving it a haunting quality that lingers long after the film has ended. Lies' unique animation style and attention to detail further add to the unnerving feeling, making this early work a must-see for fans of the horror genre. Level 4. The Core Full Stop Punctuation and Null Sign a full stop, also known as a period, is a punctuation mark used to indicate the end of a sentence. In writing, it is used to separate sentences or to indicate abbreviations, whereas on the other hand, the null sign is a mathematical symbol that represents an absence or lack of value. In computing, it is often used to indicate a missing value, but in a YouTube search, while the full stop or period is used to end a sentence, users have also used it as a search term on the platform. This type of search happens when the user enters a single period or a null sign into the search bar, and the results can be unsettling or even creepy in nature. This is due to the platform's algorithm and how it displays content, as well as the nature of some of the content uploaded to the site. SuicideMouse.avi SuicideMouse.avi is a highly influential creepypasta centered around a supposed lost episode of an old Mickey Mouse cartoon. It is often regarded as the precursor to the entire lost episode subgenre of creepypastas. The story tells of a mysterious tape discovered by a YouTuber named Leonard Owens, which shows disturbing and unsettling content that gradually leads to the appearance of a grotesque, distorted version of Mickey Mouse. The origins of the tape and how it ended up in Owens' possession are unknown adding to the unsettling and mysterious nature of the story. Ben Drowned Ben Drowned is a well-known creepypasta that has evolved into an alternate reality game, created by Alex Hall, who goes by the pseudonym Jaduzable. The story centers around a Majora's Mask cartridge that appears to be haunted by the ghost of a boy named Ben. As the story progresses, the player character begins to experience strange and terrifying occurrences that seem to be tied to Ben's tragic fate. The creepy and unsettling atmosphere of the game, combined with the mystery surrounding Ben's story, has it a beloved and enduring legend in the gaming and horror communities. Obey the Walrus Obey the Walrus is a disturbing video that was initially posted on YouTube in 2007. It gained immense popularity after a re-uploaded version was shared by user David Nunez in 2008, garnering over 6 million views. The video begins with Andros, a character from the popular video game series Star Fox, singing the nursery rhyme, the Itsy Bitsy Spider, in Spanish. The song soon speeds up as a distorted background is revealed, creating a sense of unease in the viewers. The video then shows a person named Sandy Crisp wandering around with an umbrella, all while a distorted song plays over it. Sandy Crisp, born on January 13, 1960, in California, was a transgender woman who contracted polio. Unfortunately, the mild practice of the doctors who were treating her illness resulted in her disfigurement and disability, and she had to use canes and a wheelchair for her mobility later in life. 
In the video, she comes close to the screen before an image of a walrus is suddenly displayed, adding to the unsettling nature of the video. Blankroomsoup.avi Blank Room Soup, also known as Freaky Soup Guy, is a disturbing viral video that has captivated and unnerved audiences since its appearance on the internet. The video shows a man with a censored face sitting alone in a bare room, eating chunky soup and crying. Another man wearing a mascot head then enters the room and begins to rub the man's back, before a second identical man appears and does the same. The video's eerie atmosphere and lack of context have led to various rumors about its origins, including speculation that it is a snuff film from the deep web. The costumes used in Blank Room Soup are actually from a performance art group called Ray Ray, which is led by animator Raymond S. Piercy. Piercy is best known for his animation work on popular projects such as Felix the Cat, The Simpsons, Wreck-It Ralph, and Zootopia. Ray Ray is the name of the group's self-referral Max Scott character who was introduced in a video on the Ray Ray Vision YouTube channel in 2010. Despite this connection, the true origin of Blank Room Soup remains shrouded in mystery, adding to its intrigue and unsettling nature. The Max Headroom Incident the Max Headroom signal hijacking was a notorious incident that occurred on the night of November 22nd, 1987. During the incident, the television signals of two stations in Chicago, Illinois were hijacked by an unknown person or group. The hijackers broadcast a pirate signal of an unidentified person wearing a Max Headroom mask and costume, who made strange comments and acted erratically for several minutes. The incident caused widespread concern and confusion among viewers, as well as an investigation by the Federal Communications Commission. Despite the investigation, the perpetrators of the hijacking were never identified or caught. The incident has since become a popular subject of discussion and speculation among fans of urban legends and conspiracy theories. Mr. Bizarre Edrim Mascar, also known as Mr. Bizarre, was a convicted sex offender who gained notoriety for his strange and unsettling videos on YouTube. He was known for his odd behavior and unusual appearances, which included a distinctive mustache and high-pitched voice. In the video, Mr. Bizarre sings Pretty Women. He performs the song Oh Pretty Women while wearing a wig and woman's clothing. He was charged with sexual battery in 1990 and served two years in prison. After his release, he continued to post videos on YouTube, which included inappropriate comments and behavior towards women. In 2009, he was arrested again for violating his probation by owning a computer and alcohol. He was sentenced to five years in prison and passed away on January 8, 2012 at the age of 79. Level 5. The Deep My dead great-grandma's coffin in my own backyard. My great-grandma's coffin in my own backyard is a video that was posted on YouTube by DJ Def Joey on October 29, 2010, and it has since amassed over 4 million views. The video features various short clips that have been uploaded on the same channel with different titles. The video begins with Joey, who is deaf, explaining the events of the video in sign language. In essence, Joey chose to remove his great-grandmother's coffin from the cemetery due to poor handling and decided to keep it in his backyard. What really makes this video worrying is that Joey opens the casket and kisses his dead grandmother on the mouth. The video concludes with Joey sharing a personal anecdote about his great-grandmother who passed away on Halloween's Eve in 1945, eight years before he was born. Zahari Shaw Zahari Ahmed Shah was a highly experienced Malaysian Airlines pilot, having joined the airline in 1981 and accumulated over 1,800 hours of flight time during his 33-year career. He held the position of B777 captain for 16 years, with over 8,000 hours of flight time on that aircraft type. However, his career and reputation came under intense scrutiny following the sudden disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 on March 8, 2014, one of the most perplexing mysteries in aviation history. After the plane had vanished from radar screens, it was discovered that Shaw had been the captain of the flight. The aircraft's final communication showed that it had taken a sharp left turn and flown for nearly six hours over the Indian Ocean before disappearing entirely from radar. One controversial theory that emerged was that Shaw may have orchestrated mass murder-suicide by depressurizing the cabin and manually switching off communications before leaving the aircraft on autopilot to crash. This was fueled by the fact that Shaw's home flight simulator had a similar route programmed into it. While it remains unclear what caused the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, Shaw's involvement continues to be a subject of intense debate and speculation to this day. Gateway of the Mind 
Gateway of the Mind is a gripping creepypasta tale of a group of scientists who attempt to communicate with God by depriving a man of his five senses. As the story progresses, the man begins to hallucinate, conversing with ghosts, and eventually goes insane due to a lack of stimulation. In a chilling end to the story, the man tells one of the scientists that God has abandoned them and dies. In July 2012, a YouTube user called Creepypaste posted a video titled Gateway of the Mind, purported to be the man from the creepypasta experiment. The video has accumulated over nearly 100,000 views as of June 2014. However, this video is not related to the creepypasta story, and the man in the original story is not in the video. The creator of the video is a French artist named Oliver de Saxon, who made it for his website as a performance art piece. In the video, Oliver transforms himself into a hideous form using makeup, clay, and experimenting with a human's body, shape, and appearance. Though the video has nothing to do with the creepypasta story, it sure is creepy and gained attention due to its striking visuals and eerie tone. Possibly in Michigan. Possibly in Michigan is a captivating musical horror short film produced in 1983 by Cecilia Condit. The film weaves together a dark fairy tale of cannibalism, desire, and fear in a surreal shopping mall suburbia. Two women who harbor a love for violence and perfume seek revenge against their male persecutor who wears an animal mask. Karen Skladani composed the music for the film which features beauty confronting the beast and missed a landscape of haunting Americana. The narrative of the film is densely collaged and explores the themes of violence, feminism, and revenge. It revolves around two women who are stalked by a man named Arthur, who dons a series of animal masks and appears to be attempting to lure them to their demise. The film is a masterful example of avant-garde storytelling and defies genre classification, with elements of horror, opera, and surrealist cinema woven together to create a haunting and unforgettable viewing experience. 2020 Vision the YouTube channel 2020 Vision has sparked interest for allegedly predicting the deaths of numerous high-profile celebrities in 2020, dating back to 2017. However, there are theories circulating that suggest the predictions may not be genuine. Some users speculate the videos were uploaded privately years ago, with every single day in the year included. Later, the videos could have been edited to include only the correct dates and made public. Others have demonstrated how the videos could have been easily manipulated to appear as though they were uploaded in 2017. The lack of comments from 2017, 2018, or 2019 on any of the videos appears to support these theories. The veracity of these predictions remains a topic of debate among viewers to this day. Gregory's Room, Unaired Pilot Gregory's Room is an unsettling animation produced by the artist Sesfield Spitzdane, who claims it was a rejected pilot for Nick Jr. in 1999. The protagonist, Gregory, appears on the screen in a room and promises to entertain the viewer with various activities. However, as the animation progresses, it becomes increasingly unnerving and disturbing, suggesting a darker, more sinister tone to the character's intentions. Removing the H from any YouTube URL makes the video satanic. Removing the H from any YouTube video URL will result in a redirection to a sinister YouTube video titled 66666. This phenomenon is facilitated by utilizing two channels, one with the username this channel, and another with the username WASH. When the H is removed, the query string following the URL, which is designated for watch function, cannot be parsed, and instead, the profile with the name WASH is opened within YouTube channel settings. One can specify a redirect URL for a particular channel. It is functional before a patch was applied, following its live demonstration by Markiplier on stream in the previous year. Four, three, two, one. Final level, the dark. WP Keck PW. WP Keck PW is a video that gained notoriety for allegedly depicting a distorted, unsettling face with strange noises in the background. A YouTube user by the name of EYR created a response video titled Cursed YouTube Video WP Keck PW Real Story. Claiming to have uncovered the video's true origins, this claim was later debunked by the YouTube channel Scare Theater. In EY's video, a friend claims to have heard about the rumor surrounding WP Keck PW two weeks prior. 
However, this claim is suspicious as WP Keck PW was actually uploaded on August 16th, 2014, the same day as EY's video. Additionally, Scare Theater used Camnasta Studio to record himself scrolling through Twitter and then edited the footage using Sony Vegas Pro to display the unsettling image several times. Therefore, it appears that WP Keck PW is likely just a piece of internet folklore with no basis in reality. NSAV919 NSAV919 is a series of four videos that feature someone recording a camera with the word night shot on it. In the second video, the word night shot remains on the camera but is now accompanied by the words help me. The third video displays both writings and features cryptic moaning noises as the recording continues. In the fourth and final video, a dark shadow approaches the camera and knocks it over, leaving the viewer to wonder what happens next. 11BX1371 the enigmatic and puzzling video, 11B X1371, features a person dressed in a plague doctor costume standing inside what appears to be an abandoned structure situated in a dense forest. The video, which is shot with a shaky camera, depicts the individual holding up a gloved hand with a strange blinking light on it. In another scene, the figure gazes down at a box with alternating right triangles as a haunting soundtrack of electronic hissing and buzzing noises accompanies the irregular blinking of the light. While some have interpreted the video as a threat of bioterrorism against the United States, others speculate that it is merely a prank, a viral marketing campaign for an upcoming film or video game, or perhaps even a student film. Yuri Lipsky the death of Yuri Lipsky, a Russian diving instructor, on April 28, 2000, was a notable incident due to the fact that his death was captured on video. Lipsky perished after an uncontrolled descent into the depth of 115 meters. The circumstances surrounding his death were made even more eerie by the unique properties of the location where it occurred. According to experts, anything that falls into the hole where Lipsky died is preserved due to the natural absence of oxygen below a certain depth. This area is characterized by a hydrogen sulfide layer that lies below 290 feet, below which there is no oxygen. The darkness that exists beneath this layer adds to the mysterious, unsettling nature of the location. The footage of his death has become infamous and is now one of the most well-known diving fatalities in the world. 01A51CDO The YouTube channel, 01A51CDO, is known for featuring mostly random footage or someone filming often with upside down text and animal like masks. While the content is mysterious and difficult to decipher, some have speculated that it could be a video diary for a serial killer or stalker. The videos seem to be directed towards someone specific rather than a general audience. The last two videos on the channel mention stolen footage from a paranoid individual and shows the user stalking two people while commenting on their performance. While there is no direct evidence of murder, it does suggest stalking and harassment. It has been confirmed that the channel is owned by a gaming YouTuber named Blame Truth adding another layer of mystery to the content. Alrighty, so that was uh, the Darkest YouTube Iceberg. Special thanks to my good friend Dirtball for joining me on this um, and voicing a couple lines. Please consider subscribing him via the first link in the description. Uh, do it now, 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 now. And I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and turning on post notifications. Your feedback in the comments is always welcome and appreciated, and it helps me create better content uh, all across the board. So comment, give me feedback, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. While some have interpreted the video, fuck you. <laughs>